So I'm in the middle of filming an intro for a vlog that I shot a couple nights back and I figured uh, let me do a separate one, a separate video. This video is about Adidas selling Reebok and uh, this is sort of an update and uh, yeah apparently as of as of yesterday August 12 uh, the deal has been done the dotted line has been signed and um, Adidas was able to sell Reebok to Authentics Brands Group and that's what sort of uh, what I'll talk about in this video by the way this is Rai and welcome to the channel and if you're new here if you're checking the channel for the first time today please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss a video also please check my socials in the description box uh, Facebook Instagram please follow me and uh, yeah just to further help this channel out please like comment and share now about abg uh this is the new owner of reebok so uh, i'm just browsing their website right now authentic brands group it has 30 plus brands global partners 800 plus global partners 6,000 stores this is collective of course uh 270 million plus total social media followers another collective number and yeah uh this is their brand portfolio they uh, they own the brand above the rim and I believe Reebok before has this uh, has this brand under them not really sure how that how that works uh, they have Aeropost Tail, Airwalk, Arrow, uh, Barney New York, Forever 21 and uh, something interesting right here they have Shaquille O'Neal on their portfolio so uh, a few years back, uh, I think that was uh, a couple of years back, Shaquille O'Neal expressed his interest in purchasing Reebok. And uh, back then I was reading the articles and apparently Shaquille O'Neal back then was um, already connected with ABG. So in this video basically I'm gonna give you five uh, of my wish list. My wish list for the brand Reebok once ABG assume the ownership, the operations. Of course, I believe uh, starting next year, Ruby John Raymond will also assume the position of VP for Creative Direction. And uh, not really sure if this change of management will affect that. But yeah, like I said, I will be giving you my wish list for Reebok now that there's a new owner. So this will be like a countdown type. And yeah, let's begin with number five. On number 5, I wrote here, release more Shaq sneakers, especially the Shaq Preachers. I really love the Shaq Preachers, how outrageous the appearance is. And Shaquille O'Neal for me is the only big man in the NBA who had a decent run in terms of signature sneakers. You know, my favorite retro of all time is the Reebok Shaq Attack. One of my favorite sneakers on my rotation is the Shaq Gnosis. And yeah, I'm really hoping down the road that they will uh, eventually release the Preachers. So that's number five. Number four, revive Hexalite and DMX, the real ones. Not that uh, thick, hard Hexalite or that uh, takedown version of the DMX. I'm hoping that uh, Shaq will put resources on the R&D and uh, redevelop the DMX and the Hexalite. So that's number four. Number three, Number three is I hope Reebok will be able to utilize the Floatride Energy, the Floatride technology on performance basketball models. As you know, Floatride has been there for quite some time now, for I think for five years or something like that. Even the new iteration of the ZigTech has Floatride Energy inside it. So yeah, I do hope Reebok will be able to come out with new basketball silhouettes that will have the Floatride Energy. Number two, I have this uh, list of classics that I want them to bring back. So I want the Reebok Ventilators, the Reebok Ventilator Supreme, the Reebok Inferno, and the Reebok Bolton. Uh, take a break uh, on, the, on the club C's, on the CL's, 
we need these sneakers the ventilators the ventilator supreme inferno and bolton maybe throw some phase two or some uh, lx8500 i mean for me it's about time so that's number two now on number one I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure uh, Reebok fans will agree with me on this. I hope Reebok will be able to sign an NBA All-Star. This seems a long shot, but yeah, what the hell. It's a wish list, right? And one bonus item right here. I hope Reebok will be able to get Pharrell or Jay-Z to co-sign either a revival of, of the, the board flip or the S. Carter line or create a new silhouette or maybe do a collaboration on either a Bolton, a ventilator, or even a Club C. So that's it. That's my wish list for the brand Reebok now that it's owned by a new company ABG how about you guys now that Reebok is free from the shackles of Adidas what do you want them to do or what do you think that they have to do to bring back or to capture even a glimpse of the glory days of the brand sound off the comments and let's discuss and that's about it for this video thank you for watching once again if you haven't yet please subscribe and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss a video follow me on Facebook follow me on Instagram until next time y'all stay safe I'll see you on the next one